Yo, the crunch is like lechon. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is steaming, bro. Yo, what's going on, everybody? Welcome to a very special Seattle episode Woo! of Fong Grows Food. David, Andrew from the Fong Grows, we're here with Richie Lee, Tan Tan. What up, you guys? We are about to try what is maybe considered the best Vietnamese catfish in America. Yes, sir, in America. you wanna talk about hype? We, this is hyped right here. We're here at Rainier BBQ Restaurant yes, in sir. Seattle on Martin Luther King at, uh, Way. Anthony Bourdain, RIP, he ate here. He big up it. Yeah. And this is like an amazing Vietnamese restaurant. This is not full. Growing up in Seattle, there wasn't that many known restaurants. Like there were spots that people knew, right? Yeah. This, this place, Rainier Barbecue, has sort of leapfrogged its way into the tier one. When it comes to Vietnamese food, I think of pho. A lot of people think of pho. This is another tier. We're about to eat some dishes I never had before. Yep. Milky sea snails, there's fried frog legs. I heard you like those. Uh, I'm, I'm a frog guy. I'm a frog Yo, guy. I've Sir. only had Vietnamese catfish one other time in my life. I'm mad excited. This is a seven pound California California catfish right in front of us. So how we're gonna eat this is with the rice wrap right here. We're gonna uh, dip this in the warm water with the vermicelli noodles. You got the garnishes. Is this a special occasion food, an everyday food? Oh, definitely. Food? This is a special occasion. The fact that you gotta call hours prior to your event, I mean, that's, that's gotta a prep special it. event. Gotta prep it. Yo, it kind of reminds me of like a like a like a lechon. Yo, Tan, that is a good point. The crunch is like a lechon, yeah. aka the Filipino crisp pig. The skin, the skin. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that is steaming, bro. You can smell the fish. It's like, it's got it. I don't know, it's the garnishes, the, uh, the scallions on top, mixed with the fried garlic. This is almost like the Peking duck. Yeah. Of I, was just going, I was just going to say, when I first saw this entree, I didn't know it was a catfish. So I actually had my birthday here as a, a surprise. How many did we order? I think we ordered, uh, <laughs> Uh, six. Wait, six wait, wait. <laughs> you know, like, if you don't got six of them for a special occasion, I don't know what you're, you're not doing. doing special occasion. Here we got the manager, Lisa. Thank you so much. Can you quickly show us uh, how to wrap the catfish? So there's a technique that I usually do, but everyone has their own technique. If we have this cool rice holder, you just roll it like a wheel. You actually leave it on the edge oh. of the plate so you can have leverage oh. to the roll. Oh. Like, and then usually I start off with the lettuce because the lettuce act like a blanket to wrap mm. it up. We are the only one that have the green sour. Tastes like green apple. If this one right here? Yes, taste oh, it here. What? Unless you like apples. <laughs> green apple. Oh my god. It I, tastes I like really green does. Whoa! No, it's it really does. Whoa. So we're the only one that have This tastes like a yeah. green apple. That is that is bursting with flavor. Wow. Can you use a little apple. bit of noodle and a little bit of Okay. This is pickled daikon and pickled carrots, and then a little bit of vermicelli. So this is the skin, a little bit crispiness. It's like Gosh. the roasted pig. This is roasted duck. pig, Peking duck, something in between the. But this is the best part where the, the fatty the, oh, part is. Oh, the fin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, the fin right here. You wanna grab it like this? Grab, tuck, roll. Grab, tuck, mm. and roll. Tuck, roll. Guys, I'm not gonna lie, she said that's the best part is the fin. Yeah. I, it kind of has I the pork grind. I want to Get me the fin, Rich. How, how do we oh. get, oh. It has like a pork grind texture. Is fish? that the pork belly of the fish? That might be, that might be a good comparison. Oh my gosh. Watch out for bones, Thank right? you, sir. Okay. Hey, Tan, if it's bones, I'm eating through it. I'm wow. working through the bones. I don't, okay, I'm okay, okay. Here. I'm a big fan of chilies lately, so I'm gonna go with some chilies in here. Tuck. Yeah, I, might, I, might, I might need a little kick too, man. I, I've been on the Sichuan wave. Kick me, kick me. Recently. There we go. Catfish, Catfish spring roll. roll. Oh my goodness. I'm excited for this pineapple anchovy sauce right here. Oh man. Mm. Never had cabbage any like this. Burst with flavor. Mm. Garnish is perfect with the garnish. I was gonna say. Bro. You cannot imagine how meaty and fatty. Fishes. Yeah. yeah. This wasn't a fish that was doing laps or something. This is a this is like the pig of the water, you know what I'm saying? Like this, this fish was chilling, marinating for us. Like, yo, the crunch of the skin was incredible right here, Rich. Dog. Are you serious? Look at that. Wow, look yeah. at that. Look at that. I didn't know catfish skin was so fatty. Alright, we got another dish coming through. Ooh, what is this right here? Whoa. So this is the um toy beef salad. We can park our um toy. And then the beef, we use tenderloin, wow. and it's tossed with peanuts, shallots, and then onion, and our secret herbs. So this is one of the dishes that Anthony Bourdain got 
we need eight here. Big pile of fresh raw ong choy. Ong choy, if you guys don't know, it's a very popular like uh, Asian and Southeast Asian vegetable. That's a big salad. I've done this before for my mom, all right? You know, uh, it's, it's not easy. It's not easy as you think. You see all the curls and everything? They taste technique to get a pile like this. Ong choy, ong choy beef salad. Yo, that. Mm. There is a crunch. Ooh. So this is actually cold, it's not a warm dish. Yeah, yeah. And I'm fine with that. I'm cool with that. It has a lot of water in it, so it's kind of dissolving your mouth. Mm -hmm. And it's not as chewy as I thought it was gonna be. This that is... gave me the same feeling the first time I had a chrysanthemum tea leaf salad. Mm -hmm. You know, the first time I had a chrysanthemum salad, I was like, oh, what is this? Yeah. This is something totally different. So, I feel the same way about that. Wow. Whoa. Dungeon's crab is fresh. We do have a tank downstairs with our fresh seafood. That guy's a big guy today. Just for you guys. You know, we've, uh, me and Rich, we, we crab. You know, we go crabbing, so, uh, we're pretty excited when it comes to Dungeon's crab. <clears throat> this is not easy to catch in a, in a crab cage. Bro, to catch a male, it's very hard. They fight. So, they fight. Don't, don't take your fingers off. Yeah. <laughs> Let me pop the lid. Pop the top off for him. Yo, you guys, this part this right here. The guts, so that's no. how you know. By vote, who likes the guts? I'm a, I like the guts. I put my rice in there. And I, just, I use it as a bowl. Dish out the guts. They call it the uh, the butter of the sea. Yeah. Crab guts is the butter of the I sea. I need to see some people throw it out and it hurts. It, it, it pains me to see that. Crab guts. Mm. Let's just call it crab insides. And, and I like it because that's one of the parts of an animal that's actually a little bit bitter, but I still enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Right? It has like this bitter creaminess. Look at this, man. If you have guts, you'll eat the crab guts. Bigger, bigger bite than that. Come on, you got this. Oh man, just like a spare rib. Uh, this is incredible. You know, usually I would use a napkin to wipe all this stuff off my fingers, but today I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna lick it off, all right? Today, I don't got time. You just can't waste the flavor. Dude, I got a little bit of crab guts on the leg too, right here, on the crown. Yo, I would say this these crab shells are relatively easy to crack. Yeah, yeah. yeah. nice and soft. We have not the like seafood. The Woo! Sour soup. Uh, more like and then we also have carrot with chili. Just lay it on, lay it on, lay it on. I'm, I'm here to try new things. Seafood sour, sour soup. soup. So she said put the uh, chilies with the. Uh, wow. Mm. It Whoa. has like a, a sweet tum yum type of vibe to it. This soup is actually almost as sweet as it is sour. As much as you get that sour, like. Ooh. Would you guys say there's uh, more of a tamarind flavor? All right, you guys, we are not done yet. Everything has been A1. So we have the caramel, nice. And then also some veggie that we boil. Those are melon. Those are actually the end of it, so it's pretty good. I saw this on the menu and I thought it was really interesting because yeah. I'd never had anything that looked like that. We have pork in it and then also the dried shrimp that is and then uh, we just cook it down, roll it until it caramelizes with our sauce. I got you, bro. Yeah, it's a little bit soft. Ow, ow, it's that big. <laughs> here, here, let me just scoop it onto this I, thing. I, I tried to. Yo, I'm gonna do an OG style. You know how they uh, take oh, the bite in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You sure? I'm gonna do it with you. Let's get it. I'm gonna do it with All right. you. Caramelized vegetable dip. It definitely put the uh, dehydrated um, the shrimp. Kind of has that like peppery yeah. taste to it. It's, it's funny because the only other dish that I've had that looks like that is Filipino sisig. Comes on the hot plate, but this is really different. It kind of has that slight caramelized jerky flavor for the pork. I definitely taste something familiar from this dish, but I think the whole way that it's put together, <laughs> totally different. Mm. That pepper. I think that, I always think that trying new food with your friends, that has got to be one of the best experiences because you guys are going through something together. For yeah, sure. yeah, for sure. Everybody goes on trips with their friends and want to experience new things and I think a lot of people underrate how trying a new food and new flavors counts as a new thing. For sure. Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, sure. if you uh, look in this restaurant right now, no one's sitting alone. Everyone has a buddy or a group. So. That's a good point. Perfect restaurant to do that. We have the coconut with the snail. And then this is our quail Yo. with the butter. Wait, so make sure you scoop okay. up some of the juice okay, into it. Okay, cool. Yes. Okay, so gotta, this little put, opening right here. Here, here. That's really sweet here, coconut here, milk here. flavor. So you put it in your mouth. Okay. Okay. It, okay. And then you just suck it really okay. hard. All right. Ooh, okay. All right. Ooh. Easy. All right. Oh, I got out. A little in my mouth. In the back. <laughs> <laughs> it was like a straw. <laughs> That's like a sweet coconut milk. Is that creamy? That is wow. good. The flavor of the uh, yeah. cream is good. Creamy snails. I've never had creamy snails before. That's These the trick are... if you can't suck it from the front, 
you try, you suck it from the back, then suck it from the front again. Oh, um, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Wait, ten, ten. So what? What? what ten? Did you, <laughs> did you do it? I sucked for the front. If it doesn't come out, from the back. Yeah. And it came out. So. <laughs> Let me just show you what's inside. That was kind of weird. I took it back out of my mouth, but just for the science of it. This is the snail that's inside. Hey, do you, hear, do, it right there. do you hear the ocean with this one though? No. Quail, it's a bird, small bird. Fried, fried quail. quail. Just look how juicy that is. Quail, I believe it's similar to a duck in the sense that it's all dark meat. Mm. This is our sea snail. It's also called pear wrinkle. Usually, some people like to poke it like this, but you're supposed to go on the side. Kind of rake it out. Oh, Spin wow. it out. Yeah. Okay. Some people poke like that. It just only make it gold. Like you're cleaning out some earwax. Yeah. So. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay. I was almost gonna say this looks like something that you have in your house just for the smell. Mm, that is like true. Sea snails. Mm. With the sauce is good. Wow, that's super fresh. Wow. I didn't know that I would ever say sneeze snails was refreshing, but I like that more than the uh, other snails. Even though yeah, this, this is a little bit lighter. A little cleaner. So this is our scallop. They are not your typical Ooh. scallop you guys see. And this is our amazing green sauce that we make in house. It has the Thai chili that is green and also lemon leaves, the bigger to me. Boss scallops. Mm. Wow. Mm. Yo, the onion flavor with the green onions, the fried shallots, the pita. With green onions. Mm -hmm. That was one of the single best bites I had today. I love green onions to the death. Mm. I had this dish once in California. Yeah. It wasn't even close. All right. First one more of our dishes is wild beetle leaf with our tenderloin, whatever. We cut in cubes, so it's still tender inside. We uh, do it from the wok, so it has that smoky aroma. This is a nice alternative to the baluklak. A lot of people, you know, we're known for our baluklak, but this is a nice alternative if you want the change. Okay. Similar. Better leaf beef. Kind of just um, a nutty taste to it. Mmm. More wow. like earthy, more like gamey. Yeah. A little bit more like you just cut a piece of steak. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'll tell you one thing. The texture, super easy to eat. I like it. Anytime you can see a new way to do something, yeah. that I do think caters to a more sophisticated taste palette. Mm -hmm. I'm all for it. Wow. Oh, oh, Yo, okay. speaking of uni, how we were talking about uni with the uh, crab guts. Yeah. Right here. The reason why I was always, always scared to eat it, because I don't know y'all remember watching that Jackie Chan movie, but uh, when, when, he, he, when he beat up that one dude and he fell in the water, yeah. the tank with all the uni. Oh, and then the uni stick to him. It was him. scary. It was yeah. a scary moment, man. <laughs> okay, so this is uni freshly from Washington. Wow. So it's just coming in season. Okay. I feel like I'm shaving off some like. Wow. Wow. Look at that. Looks rich. All right, you guys, what are you guys thinking? Are, are you gonna sauce yours up? Rich, Rich said all natural. I'm gonna go all natural and just appreciate uh, the sea. What was this? Yo, the this is butter? a huge piece. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a food for, for dessert. dessert. Mm. Oh, I see what she's saying with the uh, temperature. Wow, it is cold. Oh, that got, like, I don't know how uni all of a sudden, just because it was cold, turned into dessert. Yeah. But it makes sense. It's almost like a Rich light, less sweetened ice cream. Yeah. Mm. Wow. I never realized how buttery. Ooh, that was clean. It's very buttery. Seafood in Seattle, guys, is this confirms it, man. It's, it's like some that's like getting beef in Texas or something. I don't yeah, know. I listen, guys. I get it. This is definitely a staple of the community. I mean, I see all types of people in here. The food is legitimate. All right, everybody. That wraps it up here at Rainier Ooh. Barbecue. One of the best fun grow foods ever. We can co-sign it. Come here. Anthony Bourdain came here. It's really, here a really lot proud to say this is from you know our home area, dude. Yeah, yeah. our hometown. And, cool. and it confirms that Pacific Northwest seafood is incredible. Yes, yes, sir. The presentation yes. is incredible. We saw it from here. Mm -hmm. the, even the exotic things that you can get here, you can get even crazier than this if you want to get a little weirder. You know, I give this spot a ten out of ten. Yeah, I. I want you. This is one of my favorite Seattle restaurants I've ever been to in my entire life. <laughs> my favorite dish is gonna have to be the scallops. I've had scallops with Richie a lot. He loves scallops, but they're not prepared the way I had it today. No, this was completely And that was completely good. like was good. Was a game good. changer. I don't know if I would ever get that scallop anywhere else. Going Dude. between the catfish and the ong choy. Okay, okay. That was good. That was the good. Choy, the whole dish. I'm gonna go with the catfish. catfish. The catfish was fire. Overall, I gotta say it's 
these three dishes right here, yeah, man. The yeah. ong choy beef salad, the scallop, and the catfish. I think if you gotta get three dishes, you gotta get those. Those are three. But everything else was great. The lemongrass snails. I've never actually had snails that I actually really enjoyed. So shout out to those. Yeah. All right, okay. you guys, thank you so much for tuning into that very special Seattle episode of Fun Rose Food here at Rainier Barbecue in South Seattle. Huge shout out to Rich, Tan, everybody here. Yes, sir. Lisa, Stacy. Come on down. Let us know if there's any other amazing restaurants, uh, particularly seafood restaurants you guys want us to check out. For sure. And until next time, we out. Peace. I think if you come here and you're not a fan of vegetables, for whatever reason, you're gonna come here and you're gonna enjoy what for you sure. Let, let's be honest, <laughs> let's be honest, not that many people come by and brag about the leaves that they have yeah. at the restaurant. Very true, very so true. I, I think that's, I mean, Lisa's talking big game and I think it lived up to it. Yeah, for sure.